Hello there, tankers of the Blitz universe. My name is Flossie, and in today's video, we are going to be playing in the FV2 and 5B183. This is the best tank in World of Tanks Blitz. As my brother Droodles really loves playing this tank, he said, you know what? You gotta try this thing out. You gotta see how good it is. And you know, previously I really liked the STB1. It's my most played tank, but you know, because Droodle's most played tank is the 183, I was like, there's a reason why he's played it so much. So clearly, I mean, and as Meatsy said, it's the sixth best tank for grinding uh, in new players. So, you know, the Tortoise, everything on the line is really easy for beginners. They're super slow, which allows you to have time to think about where you're driving. And, you know, if a medium gets behind you, it's fine. You can just have a cup of tea and go into the next battle. So, obviously, once you get to the 183, it's just the best tank ever. It has the most speed in the game, reaching a top speed of, like, 30 million miles an hour. Uh, don't quote me on that. Actually, no, you should quote me on that, uh, because I'm flossy and not Rubles. Um the, the tank also has crazy good gun depression. I mean, the STB-1 with its 11 degrees has nothing on this tank. You can work literally any ridgeline in front of you. In fact, I think the ridgelines are scared of you, so they deform over the sheer weight of your vehicle and just dig you a trench right wherever you are. So obviously, I mean, this tank is absolutely incredible. And don't even get me started on the armor profile. Essentially, if you're aiming at this tank, you shouldn't bother. You're not going to pen it. I mean, frontally, the vehicle has about 900 mils of protection. The only weak spot is when people are cheating. I mean, unless, unless of course, like, they shoot you in the, the one little weak spot. You know how, like, the Death Star in real life has that, like, little, little spot, like, whatever his name was, shoot it. Was it Luke? I... <laughs> I don't watch Star Wars that much, so... <laughs> Either way, uh, uh... Yeah, yeah, the only weak spot on this vehicle is the, uh, is the little hole right on the back there. And, uh, if you can't see it, that's because it has no weak spots. So we're gonna obviously frontline. This is a heavy tank, and if you're not frontlining in the 183, you're playing it wrong. Tank destroyers are not meant to be sat in the back. They are meant to be played frontline up there with your teammates. We're going to roll around this corner here, and they're not even going to know what hits them. In fact, why am I staying back? I, I need to keep going up here. I mean, clearly, in this vehicle, all you should be doing is driving. Look at this. This minnow, he is about to experience why the 183 is so good. Look at that. 1,000 damage. The fact he penned me shows that he's hacking. I mean, already. I'm, I'm definitely going to be reporting this guy. Freaking hacker. All right, well, let's reload. Even though he's hacking, it's fine, because it, it looks like he's not running armor hacks, so... My 183 will still be the champion of the seas. We got the uh, E75, and he's cl clearly about to... Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah, look at that. That shell obliterated that enemy E75. It hit him so hard, he didn't even know what hit him. This minnow, he's like, oh, I'm going to get the 183. But really, what, what it's going to happen to this minnow is we're going to send him to China here. And uh, bye. <laughs> Yeah, again, you just can't counter this tank. It's too overpowered. There's no way to to fight this thing. I mean, what are you going to do when it just shoots you? You're going to die. All right, well, the, uh, the 50B clearly saw my overwhelming presence and ran away as fast as he could, because that's what I'd do if I saw this tank. And uh, this E3, he doesn't even know what to do against us here. He's just, he's just kind of waiting. He's like, ah, oh, I don't know what to do against this tank. So the E3 shoots, and now obviously comes the big death. We're going to aim it on this player, and, and again, he just doesn't know what to do. We shoot him right in the side. Can you name vehicles that can pen a vehicle in the flat side? Well, the 183 can, and it absolutely does it easily. This E3 thinks he can kill me. No, he can't. As I said, this thing has the best mobility in the game. So you just can't outmaneuver the 183. E3 completely misses me. I mean, I don't blame him. I probably would have too. When, when you're driving at 30 million miles an hour, to him it looks like we're going slow, but in reality, we're kind of just the flash. We're... We're gone. We're gone. So we're gonna we're gonna go over to this 50B, and obviously in the 183, you don't really need to aim in, but we're gonna we're gonna let it aim in because we obviously need to give this player some time to think about his bad decisions. And there you go. Uh, that was a, a really challenging battle, and I think that it really showcased where the 183 is the best tank in the game. I mean, 3700 is really on the lower end of battles you'll play in this tank. You can easily get 9k, 10ks when you play this vehicle. Um, yeah, so there you go, 3700 damage. We assisted our team a little bit, and obviously we did what we didn't do top that leopard te cheating cheater. I'm gonna I'm gonna have to report him. Obviously, uh, if you do better than the 183, the only reason why is because you're cheating because it's the best tank in the game. 
clearly, uh, as you saw from that first game there, nothing could really counter me, and that shows why it's so overpowered. I mean, how many other tanks could you do that with? You couldn't you couldn't make that push in the 100 You know why? Because you're bad. That's why. We arrive in the second battle where we are once again just going to dominate our opponents. We're going to have them bend over. They're going to taste our 183 millimeters of death. Who is this Droodles guy? He's talking about the top. My brother? Yeah, maybe my brother. He's got a pretty small YouTube channel. He's only got like nine, 93 subs. You know, not, not that many. Uh, Flossy is obviously the best content creator for World of Tanks Splits right now. I mean, that's why you're watching me. That's why you're watching me playing the FE2 and 5v183 because... It is the best take in the game. If you disagree with me, you're wrong. Uh, your opinion doesn't matter. I don't like you. <laughs> All right, uh, let, we're gonna we're gonna make our way to the uh, to the the leopard over here because again, this leopard thinks that he's like he's smart or something. He's making a good play. Well, you know what's gonna happen? This leopard is about to uh, he's about to see why the 183 is the best tank in the game, and uh, this is why right here we're gonna aim it on his vehicle, and uh, there you go. Again, the 183, just the best tank. Oh, you're shooting at me? You can't kill me. This tank's way too good to be killed. You you can't you can't fathom taking out this vehicle in the battle. Oh yeah. This leopard thinks that he's gonna clear me. You can't clear the 183. I I didn't die. Whatever you're thinking is wrong. I'm I'm still alive right now. While we're waiting for our 183's massive cannon to cool down, let's talk about some other tanks that are amazing that all of you should grind as your first tanks in the game. Well, obviously the Leopard 1 is great. It features a lot of mobility, it has some of the most armor for a medium out there, and because of that, if you angle it properly, you're going to get a lot of bounces. The only reason that Leopard in the previous game, you know, died to me was obviously because of the fact that I'm just too superior in my 183. Uh, the Grill 15 is an absolutely amazing tank to grind if you're a beginner. Uh, same for the T100LT. I think we're going to move over to my favorite tank for beginners though, which is probably the WZ-132 one, and don't forget the CS-63. This is probably the best tank in the game right now. Uh, and you can trust me because, as I just said, the 183, it's incredible. And as you saw, I mean, I did the best every game. Every game I play, look at this uh, battle log here. Look at this victory I just had in the 183. Boom. Victory. Win. Every game. This is the best tank. No arguments are ever going to defeat this. And uh, bye.